You're at five. While this is the unofficial start of summer, boaters in Illinois have extra reason to celebrate. A whopping 555% increase in license plate fees for boat trailers could soon be nearly reversed. Totally. Thanks to a bill just passed by the Illinois House. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas live at Burnham Harbor. Tim, you have reported on these fees for more than a year now. And voters here today tell me they are finally optimistic about a potential fix. Remember, this all started back in 2019 when an infrastructure bill spiked those fees. Now a plan to finally do something about it is finally moving in Springfield. Drowning in state fees. Starting last year, boaters went from paying $18 per year to $118, all in license plate fees, not for their boats, but for the small trailers they used to haul them. They're paying that much is just nuts. Frank Wagner says he only uses his trailer on Memorial Day and a few other days a year. I mean, that's just crazy for something uh, like a boat, which you know only hits the road for you know maybe 50 miles a year. Since early 2020, we've been assured repeatedly that a fix was on the way. But lawmakers said COVID and other obstacles left those plans dead in the water. Now the House has finally passed a bill that would bring the fees down to $36, sponsored by Representative Marcus Evans of Chicago. You got to pay the bills of the state. So folks are looking for revenue. And I think this is something that people said it won't be so bad. But I don't think it was a lot of a thorough analysis at that time. We've been flooded with complaints from boaters and lawmakers have heard from some of those same frustrated taxpayers. The small trailers are also used to haul ATVs and lawnmowers. Evan says he's confident the bill will pass the Senate and be signed by the governor. Sometimes you make mistakes, but in government you must fix them and address them. The bill does not include refunds for people like Wagner, who's already lost more than $200 to the increase. Please, please just sign it, get this fixed. I don't know if it was a mistake or whatever it was, but I mean, that's just insane. And Evan says he hopes that could become law sometime this summer, but we'll have to see how this all shakes out in the Senate. For now, he says if you have to renew, you should continue.